Welcome to another vegan meal prep video. Today I've got three delicious meals for you. They're simple to make, they're pretty quick, they're darn tasty though, that's the important thing. You're gonna be getting about 2,200 calories and 140 grams of protein with these meals. Now I'll show you the breakdown on chronometer at the end and the list of ingredients. And obviously if your needs vary, of course you can tweak things a little bit to suit you. The biggest hurdle I hear from people is that they don't have time to cook good meals. Well, if you meal prep, like I'm gonna show you, it takes a fraction of the time because you have gotta get everything out. Yeah, the chopping may take a little bit, but we're gonna leverage some frozen vegetables. We're gonna be a bit naughty. And time you've got the stuff out, you know, done all the prep, cooking it, washing up, put stuff away. You might as well make five meals to make one meal. It just takes like a little bit longer. Come on guys, you can do this. Meal one is a deliciously sweet and creamy carrot cake overnight oats. So with this one, I need to do it a little bit different. You do want to prepare five days worth of this because it's fresh ingredients, you're not going to freeze it. I'd only prepare three days in one go. I'm going to do five for the sake of the thumbnail, but just so you know. So just basically weigh this into each container. We're going to need 50 grams of oats one scoop of vanilla protein powder, vegan of course, 50 grams of raisins, half a Brazil nut. Why half? You can put a little more. I kind of see this as a selenium supplement. If you had four Brazil nuts and then like loads of whole plant food, you might actually hit the upper ceiling of your selenium, you know, toxicity levels. So um, yeah, be careful. One tablespoon milled chia, one tablespoon flax meal, and a teaspoon of cinnamon, come on now. And you wanna give that a little bit of a mix. You want 35 grams of grated carrot per serving. I would add the carrot in the night before. So I do that like a serving at a time, you know, when you add in the milk for the next day. 250 mils of soya milk goes in. Then you wanna pop the lid on and stick that in the fridge overnight. The morning that you're gonna eat the overnight oats, it's good to add some fresh berries on. I've got 50 grams each of physalis, raspberries, and blueberries. Meal two is gonna be a deliciously rich and creamy tofu satay with edamame beans and red quinoa. First, you wanna weigh out 300 grams of quinoa. I'm using red quinoa as is higher in antioxidants. We'll bring that to the boil and simmer for about 15 minutes. I've got two 400 gram blocks of firm tofu. I'm gonna to cut those into little chunks. Two tablespoons of soy sauce, tamari if you're gluten free. And give that a mix. We don't need to flavor this so much because the sauce is gonna be super delicious. We'll cook these in the air fryer at 200 degrees Celsius, that's 400 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. If you're doing them in a conventional oven like some sort of a chump, it'll take you 20 minutes. You can't cook it for chumps. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, boys and girls. <laughs> to save time, we've got pre-chopped, uh, inspired to cook by Sainsbury's stir fry vegetables. This pan's not gonna be big enough. Oh God. We're gonna have to do this in two halves. Anyway, imagine these are all going in there. Uh, 400 grams total and 250 grams of edamame beans. I probably should have split those between the two pans. This is the sort of trouble you can get into when you're super healthy and you eat a lot of vegetables. Better than dying of a chronic disease, however. So we're just gonna steam fry this, no oil, for around seven minutes till it's cooked. Now for the sensational sauce. Uh, we're using PB2, which is powdered peanut butter, if you didn't know. So it's a fraction of the calories, fraction of the fat, and uh, all the taste of peanut butter, but it can help you to get lean. What about that? 15 tablespoons. So I lost count a little bit, if I'm honest. <laughs> Five tablespoons soy or tamari sauce five teaspoons garlic granules, five teaspoons chili powder, five teaspoons of maple syrup, the juice of half a lemon. Now, although we're gonna use 500 mils of water, I'm just gonna add a little splash at first and try to kind of make this into a paste and that'll help it to be less lumpy. Oh, 
once all the water's in it, maybe benefit from a tiny little bit of a whisking. Add the sauce in with the vegetables and simmer for five minutes. Meal three is going to be a phenomenally savoury rosemary and red onion sausages with barbecue beans and potato bites. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius, that's 400 Fahrenheit. Chop 1,750 grams of potatoes into little bite-sized cubes. Acrylamides are a compound formed when you cook starches at high temperatures. Half of studies show that it's a potential carcinogen. And so, while we don't know for sure, we can add in rosemary powder, or I guess you could use fresh rosemary as well. Uh, and that actually blocks about 96% of that from happening. Also on the subject of health, we use low salt, which is 66% potassium chloride, not just sodium chloride. And black pepper increases the length of your microvilli by 150%, so you get more nutrition from your food. Mix it up. Transfer to baking trays. We've got parchment paper to make clean up easy. And it's best to have far too many. And now we're gonna cook these for 35 minutes. We're gonna be using Linda McCartney rosemary and red onion sausages. Were I not bodybuilding, I wouldn't be eating like meat replacements. You know, healthier is obviously to stick to whole plant foods. However, I require a bit more protein than your average person. Linda McCartney range, they tend to not have coconut oil, which is bad for the heart. Uh, some are lower fat than others. These are particularly low fat, the rosemary red onion. So if you're worrying about uh, lean gains, lean gains bra, that's the ones I'd pick. This is a funny one. Also, it doesn't hurt that they're delicious. Cook these as per the pack instructions. If you're air frying them like me, then they take about 12 minutes at 200 Celsius, 400 Fahrenheit. Now we'll get some lovely kale on to cook. I'm gonna steam this for about 10 minutes or so. The one thing that most people could do to really improve their nutrition status is eat a decent amount of leafy greens at most meals. Gonna chop a couple of tomatoes. I did it, Brian. I've got sugar-free beans. I'm gonna get two and a half cans. Get out of there. Naughty. I'm gonna add three teaspoons of barbecue seasoning. We're gonna make barbecue beans. Woo! Get rid of that little mix. Now that everything's cooled down, we can pop it into the containers. A little fresh coriander, some sliced fresh chilies. Just finish them with a little tablespoon of peanuts. As promised, here's the breakdown for anyone who's interested. You can see here the ingredients for the breakfast. If you want to make a note, if you highlight the bar at the top, you can then look at the nutrition for the individual meals. So a little over 700 calories. Here's the macros breakdown. 25% protein, 55% carbs, 20% fat. 46 grams of protein total, not too bad. Here's the micronutrients in case you're interested. Then for the lunch, Here's all the ingredients. A little over 750 calories this time. 23% protein, 42% carbs, 35% of calories coming from fat, and nearer 50 grams of protein this time. Not too shabby. And then what ended up being the dinner. Again, here's the ingredients. 700 calories, 24% protein, 66% carbs, 10% fat, 47 grams total protein, all the micronutrients. Totals for the day, nearly 2,200 cows, 24% protein, 54% carbs, 22% fat, 142 grams of protein total. And again, all your micronutrients, you can see that we smashed pretty much every single one of them. Sodium's a little high, we shouldn't eat too much salt. I made it so it's tasty, but you know, you may want to cut down on the tamari, things like that. 
it is a bit naughty. 4.6 grams of omega-3, which is plenty and not more than a 4 to 1 ratio of 6 to 3. So that's in balance. The essential amino acids are all well over the RDAs, as are the vitamins and the minerals. Doesn't suck being vegan. If you'd like more delicious functional meals like this, check out our three eBooks. And we also have space for two new online coaching clients. We'd really get you the results. If you're keen to actually get somewhere, we've got the knowledge and we really want you to succeed and we'll leverage everything to make it work. We've got like a state-of-the-art app. We handhold you right through the process, very scientific. We tweak both plans as they go, your nutrition and your workout. It'll be stuff you enjoy eating. It'll be stuff you like doing in the gym or out of the gym, however you like to exercise. Check it out, see what you think. But there's a reason we do so well and so many people tell us like they've been with other coaches and it was just cookie cutter and they didn't get the results they deserve. So have a look at that. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.